guys, what is up? You are back to my channel, I see. Um, after setting that title and thumbnail, then I know you guys already know what we're gonna be talking about. But let's make this video an off awesome one. And with that, how about you all? Well, you already saw it, but. I hope you all dance along, dot up, started moving around like this to my random band thing. Because it was a fun time and don't, I would bet you that we would do it again at the end. So you better stay around to the very end. But until then, welcome back y'all. Welcome back. And also, this video is going to be a whole new theory on this channel that you guys are going to love. Um, you, you guys know how passionate I am for gravel. Um, I just took a gravel flare last semester in school. So I'm, so I'm thinking this next theory, everything in the video will be a different topic of a place that, a place that I traveled to and I did all the things like find hotel, plane, went to talk, thing to do there, muff thing to do secondary thing to do, you know, all of that, and I'm going to share it right here on the video theory for you guys. But before we get into what this one is going to be about, make sure if you are new to this channel, or if you have not already done it, hit that subscribe button down below or right here, because guys, you guys do not want to miss. 2019 will be the best year for this channel, for this family, for whatever you want to call this, it will be our year. And we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and let me just tell you right here. When, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I got something very, very special for you all that you guys do not want to miss when we hit 1,000. So let's keep on growing this channel, keep on growing this family, and let's just have fun together. Let's have fun. All right, with that being said, smash that like button right now, because if you can't tell what shirt I'm wearing, what I'm gonna just talking about with traveling, you guys would love this video, I know you guys will. Um, and also, comment down below if you guys think where was the very first location that I traveled to or made a itinerary for the destination that I wanted to go to so bad. Comment down below, I would give you 10 questions if you guys know the answer to this. And if you know it, I will shout you out in the next video. No cheating. Do not cheat. Don't we? Don't fast forward. No, 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 no. I see you. I see. I can. I can see. I can look. Don't see. Don't. No. 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 Get that hand off that mouth. Get that hand off the mouth. All right, die. I would give you ten dozen. No cheating. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, 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 four, three, two, one. All right, guy. No more typing. I'm not be looking right now. Do you guys got it right? How many of you guys got it right? Give this video a big thumb up if you think you got it right. All right. All right, the next thing we're gonna be talking about, I'm gonna tell you where I went, or should I say, where I plan a vacation to, that I will be going to in the next 10 years, no doubt about. So, I told you, I gave a hint right here. Um, if crop to survive, that's for sure. You guys know me, I, I need my crop to survive. It have lots of historical stuff to do there. Oh, lots of picture opportunity, lots of photo shoot, 
Lots of photo shoot happening but at this location. All right, all right. Well, done to be talking about and planning. Let's go to Hawaii. All right, guys. Now that you know the location, this is what a this is what I plan for this location. This is what uh things that I'm gonna be doing, things that I need to do, um, places that I need to eat at, food that I want to fly, and just things to do. Uh, so first off, I think on the on the paper that I wrote on it. I'm pretty sure I stayed for like two weeks here to make sure I got everything done. Two weeks. And I kind of split that two weeks up in two parts. So the first part I stayed at a hotel slash a resort. Yeah, hotel slash a resort. Um, I also went to the tar, so that would be easier for me to sit around to see that I wanted to. Um, the second part, we stayed in a B&B, so basically we went to somebody's house and I found one sheep right by the water, which is an A+, plus. had gorgeous view by the way. Um, if I can find it, I would screenshot it and show you right here, but oh, it was gorgeous, I can't wait. I literally can't wait to take the vacation. The next thing I did, I booked, well I didn't really book my flight, but I reached the flight and I found that flying out of New York City, that I'm on the East Coast, up north, I found that flying out of New York City was cheaper to go to New York City to Salt Lake, Utah, to Hawaii. Um, I found that was the cheapest flight with one stop out of any other flight that I found to Hawaii. So that's the flight I'm going to be taking from New York City, Salt Lake, Utah to Hawaii. And the same flight coming back, the same thing. So that was the flight. And I want to say talk around, if I can remember off my top of my head, I want to say it was like $400 for that flight, which is actually not bad according to what the other flight that I found was more expensive. So that I found the cheapest one now, which, hey, I think that was, that's a bargain, right? That is a bargain. More money to spend on vacation, right? Yeah. All right, so, since we talked about hotel and where I'm staying, how I'm getting now, um, once I got there, I went to the car, and I wanna say I rented a four-door Jeep because we're on a property island. You need that Jeep. You need a tombola to enjoy. Soaked in the sun, did that nice tan line, and come back with being tan than anybody else. So I definitely went with the four door sheet, and that was I want to say that was a hundred dollars. No, yeah, a hundred dollar a week. Yeah, $100 a week, so that was 10 bucks a day. That's not bad for a four-door Jeep in Hawaii to rent for two days, for two weeks. That is not bad, guy. If you read the, here, here's what I found. If you do the read the ahead of time, you guys can get some awesome bargain to, to go on the vacation that if that you would say, oh, that's way too expensive. I can never afford that. No, do the research ahead of time. 
just read the anywhere, every website, every doodle, every place that a friend gives you advice on. Take take that to take that with you, and just do it. One night, just plan out the whole thing, because honestly, you will automatically get a bargain, and also planning ahead will give you a huge advantage of saving money. So keep that in mind. All right. So now that we got the where I'm staying, how I'm doing now, the ones that are all talked about. The I'm gonna talk about the thing that I'm gonna be doing in the two weeks on Hawaii Island because I I have so many things that I need to do on in Hawaii before I leave on the last day of my two weeks. So of course the number one thing is I must see a detail and get a picture either with it or of it. I must be a teetotal. Um, the second thing is I must. This is a must. I must go to the Pearl Harbor site. I, I need to go to that site. Or should I say I want to go to that site. So bad. The Pearl Harbor site. The next thing is you already know I am big in hiking. I have a tough hiking video. If you want to look up it, I will leave it in the icon, which is I think is up here. Um, I want to hike the Diamond Head Hill, Mount Diamond Head, Diamond Head. I want to hike the Diamond Head, and actually there's two other things that I want to hike, but I can't think of the name off of my top of my head. So, hiking will be also a true thing on this trip, so I need to make sure I remember to bring some hiking shoes, because we're going hiking. The next thing is, I've been wanting to do this my whole life. Like, literally, my whole life I wanted to do this. I want to go skydiving. And there's only a couple places that I wanted to actually skydive, and Hawaii is number one. I want to skydive in Hawaii so bad for my very first jump out of the plane and to just have fun and see a tropical vibe when you tell me down. Hawaii is definitely that number one spot that I want to do it in so bad. Skydiving on that list. Did I say that way? Well, Alright, the next thing, I also want to do this my whole entire life. Um, if you knew me, if you know who I am, I love Shamu, I love Tiller Whale. They are like my favorite the animals who live in the ocean. Tiller Whale, I don't know what it's about them, but they're so beautiful and sweet. I just love them. So, the number one thing that I found that is really, really, really awesome to do in Hawaii, like, I think the other place to do it is in Australia, but Hawaii is definitely a top choice for it to do, is go whale washing, um, where you're on a boat, and you, you have like slash floor on the bottom of the boat, well, swimming around you, maybe even making you get wet. I want to go whale washing so bad, just like skydiving. Those are the two. Um, the other thing that I want to do, I already did it in Mexico, but hey, we're in America, and we're in a tropical location with beach and ocean, and wait, they, and why you have those forests, like the rainforest, whatever. I don't know if they're actually called rainforest, but they look like rainforest. I want to go zip lining through those forests. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, the next thing I might must do, or I might get in there when I go back, is I must attend a luau. Um, if you know Hawaii, 
you know that there is ton of luau events every single night that you're on vacation now. They have so many. So this, so there will be one whenever you want to do it. So if you have something to do on like the first day you are in Hawaii and you can't make it to Luau, you can do it the last day even or the middle of the path. But for me, I have to go to a Luau. And I heard of this one that is really good. I want to think it's like Polynesian Luau, Welcome Center or something. That's the best one to go to. So, look like I'm going to that one. And what I would be eating in Hawaii, I would be eating lots of seafood. Lots of seafood, lots of local Hawaii food. So, crab and fruit, um, what's the other um, seafood, fruit, festival, lots of local, I'm gonna be trying almost everything that Hawaii has that is not where I live. Um, there's so many food that is in this world that you have to try at least one. And the way you can do it is travel. And you know I love to travel, so why not try this food? Of course, the other thing will be swimming in the ocean, getting a tan on the beach, putting my feet in the sand, dipping my feet in the ocean. You know, that's a must. When you don't see these rapids of by flotation, you, you must go to a beach. At least one. Maybe twice. Maybe three times. Maybe four. Maybe five. Da -da -da -da. You must go to a beach when you're in these rapids of flotation. It's a must. Guys, I'm not only. So that's my trip to Hawaii. Um, everything you need to know. There is so much that you can do in Hawaii. Hawaii is a great if you love to take pictures or selfie or having people take pictures of you. Hawaii is the perfect place to do it. Like I even thought about going to Hawaii on my honeymoon with my wife, my future wife, should I say? <laughs> also, I just thought about something. The best time to go to Hawaii is between December to March. So like December around Christmas time to around St. Patrick's Day. No other best month to go to Hawaii because it's hot down now and it's cold well, majority of you that live in the toad with uh, 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 no, no, no toad. So I would probably go in no month, but actually, it doesn't matter because if I'm gonna be living in Florida or Southern California, hopefully, I would never get snow down there. So far they haven't got snow and stuff for like maybe a little bit, teeny teeny bit, but it melts away and like that. But it's not normal. So hopefully I don't have to do worry about that. So really I can go whatever, but like the best month to go is around the Christmas time to St. Patrick's Day. Or even like beginning of April, should I say that. Um, so yeah. So Dai, I got one question for you. Did this video make you like want to go to Hawaii tomorrow? Because uh, it made me want to go now. Like literally, get up, pack my bag, and go. Like that's how much it want me to go. And when I took this travel class, 
it did the same thing. Like, all these locations I'm gonna be talking to in the theory made me want to go like that. And I have some good location coming to your way, guys, so you do not want to miss. And I'm gonna be talking about them right now, but pretty soon I'll be actually flying now and taking you guys along to show you. So don't worry, we're not just gonna be talking about the location, we're gonna be actually going to the location. But just give me some time. It won't it would take you top of you, but we will make them. And I will bring you that along and vlog it every single day. Then every single day is a new adventure, right? You gotta live every moment. You gotta take life to the fullest. And enjoy the little thing in life, guy. Enjoy the little thing in life. And don't taste life for granted. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because tomorrow is not promised. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a big thumb up and then if you have not already done it. Give it a big thumb up if you want to go to Hawaii. If you're excited to go to Hawaii with me. And would you want to be able to accomplish traveling the world before blah 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 like my goal is to I want to travel the world everywhere before I hit 50 the 5 oh before I hit when I, before I turn 50 I want to travel the world and I want half of those location vacation that I take with my family White with my kid, my wife, because that's what you do. To the